This is Zup, a physics-based point-and-click puzzle game where you need to get a blue block onto a green platform by making red blocks explode. And they explode significantly louder than the calming background music. There are also yellow blocks which get jostled around. Purple ones which stay in place and green ones which move in a pattern until something touches them, after which they behave like purple blocks. The game has 44 normal levels and 22 further levels in the free DLC. This is from the same studio as the Oik games, and has a near-identical framework to them, including removable grey squares appearing in the DLC and so I was able to take my profile for Oik 2, adjust only the pixel increments, and then be ready to play. I've saved myself some time for the next time I have to resize these, by storing all the horizontal and vertical values in separate commands, rather than in every single case of moving up, down, left and right, including by halves and quarters. Like with the other games, Cheat Engine is needed to slow down some of the levels, particularly if you're using voice recognition. Though it's only about 10 levels across the normal and DLC levels. The game is not entirely deterministic, so the same starting action can proceed slightly differently, making the difference between success and failure. The biggest letdown for this game is that at least a third of the levels can only be completed with trial and error, with there being no obvious order for detonating the blocks, which when combined with the non-determinism makes luck play quite a large part. That said, a handful of the primary levels involve the blocks arranged in a pattern which act like a shaped explosive charge, and I liked getting an instinct for how to eject a yellow or blue block in a specific direction. Sadly, this wasn't utilised enough. Skill gained from Oik helped in the DLC levels with the grey blocks, although sometimes there were an unpleasantly large number to remove each try, which was particularly annoying whenever it failed. Helpful accessibility options could have involved an internal slowdown option, in particular allowing you to start the level more slowly, so that default wobbles didn't escalate before you could make a necessary action. Enumerating the red squares or allowing you to set numbered waypoints on those squares would be very helpful, as it would save having to move the mouse from one position to the next in real time. Useful when you know which positions you need to hit, but keep not quite getting the timing right and having to reset the level. And with the copious grey blocks, allowing you to remove a number before the level starts, and keep that number removed so that you don't have to do it again each time. Even with voice commands and these various irritations, I completed the main game in under 45 minutes and the DLC in under 35, so it's a short distraction with calming music, but it doesn't have much replayability because there's so much guessing and you don't feel that accomplished by the end. Here is some sample gameplay. Down left one. Click. Reset level. Right two. Click. Down left one. Next level. Down two. Click. Up five. Click. Up one, click. Down six, click. Hmm. Click. Up five, click. Click. Up one, up one. Reset level, click. Down one, reset level, click. Click. Up 
that build a little bit of timing. Next level. Down four. Left two. Down one. Click. Down left two. Click. <laughs> it's like, I was thinking as it fell. I am understanding these shaped charges. Knock it horizontally. Right eight. Down right two. Down one. Click. Next level. Up right two. Up one. Click. Down left eight. Right two. Up right one. Up one. Click. Down three. Down one. Click. Down two. Down one. Click. Reset level. Click. Up two. Click. Up three. Click. Up five. Up right five. Down one. Click. Down half. Click. Next level. Left twelve. Down left four. Left two. Click. <laughs> Reset level. Slow game. Right five. Left five. Right eight. Down four. Up four. Left eight. Click. Slow game. Reset level. Click. Right eight. Down four. Click. Normal speed game. Nice. Next level. Down 12. Left 8. Up 2. Reset level. Right 1. Click. Right 1. Reset level. Click. Oh. See, I thought we needed to get the blue block between those falling things on the right, but maybe it's to get it through the purple blocks on the left. Reset level. Right half. Click. Reset level. Right one. Click. <sighs> Click. Right one. Click. But yeah, landing it through the gaps in the purple is ridiculously precise. Left four. Click. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Next level. Next level. Oh. Now I think I have to do two of these. Um... This could be really bad in terms of having to knock the thing somewhere way up with the left set of charges and then hit the right set of charges at the right time to send the right block to knock it back. Left 20. Left 8. Up right 2. Up 1. Down half. Right half. Click. Reset level. Up one. Click. Up one. Click. Oh! Reset level. Up one. Click. <laughs> I think that one was luck. Next level. Next level. Left eight. Up left three. Left one. Click. 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 
next level. Oh, dear. Left eight. It's like a game of centipede. Up left four. Left five. Down half. Click. Click. Surprisingly like centipede. Oh, sweet. Next level. <laughs> 